a husband and wife were enjoying time together along the Victoria's surf coast. The couple came upon a group of eight Muslim men fishing in a well-known no-fishing-allowed zone. Liana Tyrrell reminded the men that it was legally a no-fishing zone and that's when things started going wrong. The eight Muslim men harassed her and threatened violence. They called her horrible things like white whore and white slut and that was the last time they would mess with her. The eight Muslim men did and know who Liana was married to, but they sure found out really fast, the hard way. Her husband, Kyle Tyrrell, is a retired lieutenant colonel who served time in Iraq. He went into defense mode once the cowardly Muslim attacked his wife. He protected his woman and fought eight Muslim cowardice attackers who picked on the wrong woman due to her culture and race. Kyle Tyrrell, 48, had an altercation with fishermen on Victoria's surf coast a year ago while standing up for his wife Liana who was attacked by a Muslim a hole after she told him the beach was a no-fishing area. The retired lieutenant colonel said the man punched his wife in the face, and also claimed the attack was racially and culturally motivated after the man called his wife a white slut and a white whore. Mr. Tyrrell suffered minor injuries, while at least one of the Muslims was taken to a hospital. No charges were filed. The story traveled well around Facebook and other social media outlets. He faced some harsh criticism about the event, but he stated that he would do it again in a heartbeat which is what every strong soldier and man should do to protect his keep from the vile scum of the earth who thinks it's permissible to attack women. Any male who attacks women should sit home and rethink their purpose in life. Perhaps write a detailed list of reasons that a group of males attacking a woman is a bad idea. Tyrrell was right to defend his wife, even if he had to beat up all eight Muslim men. If the men were attacking him or his wife, then they must defend themselves. If Tyrrell simply attacked them for no reason, then he would be in the wrong. However, as the story is accounted for, the Muslim men attacked first and Tyrrell put a stop to it. He suffered some minor injuries during the altercation, but probably not as bad as the injuries he dealt when the Iraq war veteran beat up eight Muslim attackers. To make matters even worse, the husband and wife's daughter was there too. Now put yourself in the same situation. Eight men versus one man and two women. What do you do? Your only option is to stand and fight to protect yourself. If he didnt fight, then the Muslim men probably would they raped his wife and daughter. Preventing that is worth fighting for. His response was published on the Stand Up for Australia, Melbourne, Facebook page, where he argued he had no other option but to fight. Mr. Tyrrell claimed the Muslim man took offense to being told what to do by a woman and unleashed a tirade of abuse at her, but the fact that she ignored him only enraged him even more. His mates got close to me and then he made a run for my wife, that's when I ran at him, he threw a punch which I ducked and the fight started. At no time could either my wife, daughter, or I safely walk away, Mr. Tyrrell wrote. Now it's a battle of man versus man and the fight ensues. Attacks are exchanged then it's an all-out melee. Once the fight began, several more jumped in and it gets crazy. The Muslims are such pathetic men that they also punched his wife as she tried to get their daughter out of the situation and away from the chaos. The Muslims are reported as saying things that suggest the husband should beat his wife and teach her a lesson. The Muslim religion does not respect women or treat them as equals. Islam is possibly the most oppressive thing that a woman can ever be part of. At that point, five more joined the fight, one punching my wife as she attempted to get our daughter up the beach. At one stage one of the men said to his wife, your husband needs to teach you a lesson. There's no video of the fight between the Iraq war veteran and the eight Muslims. It probably went like this Tyrrell is a good man who suggests that he would easily protect his wife and daughter again. Anyone forced to be in such a dire situation where you fear your safety and life is being threatened should be prepared to act accordingly and defensively. Always be prepared when you're around people who have the gang mentality. The inability for Muslim men to act civilized needs to change. People cannot take the religion seriously until their men start behaving like grown, civilized, adults. The key emphasis here is certainly on civilized. It's not the Stone Age anymore, so we can stop acting like it. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily.